What's going on, E Nation Army? This is the Impress 2000, my the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. And this diecast review is going to be on Joy Logano's 2018 Pennzoil Ford Fusion from Team Penske. Back when Joy Logano ran this car at Las Vegas for the Pennzoil 400 in the spring, let's go over the box. Joy Logano's name, Team Penske, age is four and up. Joy Logano number 22, Pennzoil. 2018 Fusion Limited Edition Code, 164 Skill Stock Run Limited Edition Collectibles, Ages 4 and Up, Action Racing Collectibles, Action Racing Collectibles, Soldier Chase Champions, Barco NASCAR, Action Racing Collectibles, NASCAR Hologram, Warning Choking has a small part, not for children under 3 years. Um, and there's the price tag once again from JP Sports, and I think I got this for like 50% off. So yeah, um... So we can't read the rest of the bottom. So let's go over the box. I mean, let's go over the car. Here it is. This is Joy Logano's 2020. Oh, sorry. Uh, 2018 Pennzoil Ford Fusion. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah, oh, okay. Not here. Uh, all right. With that being said, let's go over this diecast review. All right, here we start off with the number 22, Discount Tires, AAA, Pennzoil, Auto Trader, Snap-on, American Ethanol, AutoZone, Joy Logano's name. You also got Ford, uh, DXCE Technology, PPG, Mazak, Coca-Cola, Bosch. You got the 2018 NASCAR Contingency Sponsors. Remember when contingencies were a thing? And on the hood, you got the Pennzoil logo with the cracked bell. And you got the Ford logo, Fusion 22. No Team Penske logo for some reason. Same side as the left. On the back bumper, you got Pennzoil logo once again. Oh my god, what the hell? Um, PCNN7NIL. Yep. Um, just a mishap. Four logo, 22, 22 crew. On the roof, you got the 22, Joe Logano's last name. And on the deck lid, you got the shell logo and Pennzoil logo. Oops. Um, yeah. Um, all I can say is that this car is just yellow with some, with some, uh, designs. Um, down here and also up here. Are these supposed to be like tire marks or something? Are they supposed to be tire marks? Maybe. It is supposed to be something. Um, just some design to make it not yellow. Only car. Um, I mean, all I can say is that this car is just mainly yellow. Got the black sp 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 spoiler. I almost said splitter. And yellow splitter. You got the yellow rims. Uh, pretty simple pencil car. Not bad. It does give me, like, Kurt Busch's... Uh, Kurt Busch and AJ Allmendinger's um, Pennzoil vibes. And, yeah, not bad. But there are better ones out there. That's all I can say. Um, pretty simple car. The 22, um, the black 22 with the uh, white outlines do, does remind me of the old Hertz nationwide Xfinity cars. That, it gives me that vibe as well. So, yeah, that's going to do it for another Diecast review. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this Diecast review. This is the Impress 2000 on my The Original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody.